Well, hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of No Man's Land. Yes, we are back here in the middle of nowhere. And yeah, we've been away for a hot minute. Uh, yeah, for those that saw my community post, uh, I had a tornado run through uh, my neighborhood. Caused a little damage to the house. Needed to uh, deal with that. Uh, thankfully, I'm fine. Everything is fine. There's some repair work that's going to have to happen. And I did need to move uh, my setup. So, you know, with all that going on, took a bit of a break. Uh, as well as not to stress about this and as well as real life. So, but I'm happy to be back here. So now, the first thing we're going to do is I did receive a comment. And I'm sorry I don't have your name in front of me. But I was complaining slash questioning why the heck I was having problems with weeds in my fields. Uh, and I found out I do need to wait until at least one growth. So we're definitely past that now at this point. So let's see. This should work out. Yes, yes. Kill those weeds. There we go. Now hopefully that means... Those splotches will fill in. But I think maybe still with this uh, front field. Well, you know what? I have plans for this front field, to be honest. Um, and it, you know what? I am not going to be cheeky and drop any hints. But yeah, there are plans afoot as to what I might want to do here. So this is one of the things today is get this done. Hopefully to improve our yield here on this crop. Now, our backfield also requires uh, a little herbicide as well. So hopefully this will do well and a good investment. Now, I th thought this was going to... adjust... Oop. Okay, maybe that was adjusting. I just, it needed so much uh, herbicide. Okay, so let's fold this thing up. Let's hit a couple rocks, do a little damage. Wow, wow. Good job, Sargon. Good job. Yeah, we could do the sorghum field here. Or sorry, sorghum? Soybeans. What do I, have? oh. What, oh, it doesn't matter. I don't have crop, destru crop destruction on soybeans. You can see our yield potential is pretty bad, and that's because we have zero data. You know, we could get the data for this, but I think we'll wait. We'll expand it because we did uh, increase the size of the, well, potential field. We recall last episode, you can see over, oh, no, you actually can't see it. Uh, there, now you can see it. We got ourselves a little uh, lumber uh, mill there, so that will do good, or sawmill, I should say. Cut down some trees, so we will expand that field just a tad. Now, the other thing we're going to do today is I think we are going to create our little grass field. Or expand it, because we actually do have grass here. But, oh my, oh Nelly, oh Nelly, this is in desperate, desperate need of herbicide. Okay, what we're gonna do, we're gonna come up here, come to the side of the field. Let's make sure we get it all. Wouldn't be the first, nor would it be the last time I've been off track. But yeah, go away weeds. Do not come back, although you will. All our modern technology, the weeds, they be persistent. So, well, I think what we'll do right now is we're just gonna persist on. Well, we're just wrapping things up as we go backwards and forwards. So, yeah, this this is uh, dang near done. So, 
nice and easy. Not too, too bad. I wonder if it's worth it. Uh, it looks like there's some weeds growing in the grass. You know, I, I do know that is potential silage money there, but I'm not too, too worried, at least at this point, about the grass field. And some of it got a little TLC, which is, which is fine. It's good. It's all good. So that's done. So I think what we're going to do is just avoid the chickens. Ooh. One is... When is the best time to buy, uh, I mean, to sell our eggs here? What month are we in? I've lost track. Well, it's been a minute. So March. But yeah, we've got we've got the time saving stop check. So, ooh, we've got a ways to go. So planks and furniture, though, July. That's going to be nice. Those are going up. So we could sell our thing of silage. Uh, let's come back out. This is the one thing I wish I could kind of just click through to this from that mod. Because I can see the range. So at 528, you know, it's, it's not bad. It, it, you know, could be worth it. So what we're going to do, uh, we're going to leave you here. And we do need to dig out. Yeah, it's in right in the back. Right in the back, our plow. Oh, dear. Hello, dear. Ooh. That deer's got powers. Or I've got a bigger hole in my barn than I thought. Yeah, went right through it. No respect. No respect whatsoever. There we go. Whoa. Oh, things almost went wrong. Almost went very, very wrong. Okay, so we're out. Woo! So we can lower this. Now I am going to not plow right next to this. And in terms of, I'm going to leave, I think, everything to the right of that rock, more or less. Oh, and we need to create new field. And that's mainly because uh, I am going to try, uh, as I say, semi-confidently, to build this out somewhat as a, a realistic farm. Now, in the sense of what we're doing here with this grass field, um, would a farmer just leave things as meadow grass? Well, that's a good question. I do not know the answer to that. Oh, we do need to be mindful of the edge. And maybe what we should be looking at doing. I think we can go right. Might even want to cut down that tree a bit, but that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, we're just going to expand this grass field out. Probably should have got the other tractor. It's probably I think that's the newer. Yeah, this this guy's just not meant for this. But you know what? In for a penny, in for a pound. AKA might be a tad lazy to go get the other one. But it's fine, right? It's fine. Unlike these weeds, it's fine. There we go. Boop. Now, if this was a real crop, I might not do what I'm about to do. And what I'm about to do is not worry about potentially destroying a bit of grass. I'm fine with that. And the reason why I'm fine with that is it's just grass. It's just a little bit of grass. Okay, so I think we're going to come up to... I think here is more or less good. Let's just raise that up because we don't want to back up and take out more grass than we need to because not that kind of monster. That's just that that's just crazy. Craziness. You know what in my head, I thought this was bigger than I thought it was, but you know, if I go back to Elm Creek and 
some of those first starting fields you come with, it's like, this thing's gonna be huge. You know what, I might even metal grass over some of that just to make it all nice and straight, but hey, it's, it's just gonna be grass. You know what, we are fine. But we are gonna come up just a tad. There we go. So there you go, so that is the game plan. So I think with that, we'll just pop back and see you on the other side. Well, told you we'd be right back. Well, that took me a few minutes, and for you, it was uh, instantaneous. So we have expanded the field. Now, before we put away our little subsoiler plow, which I love this little guy, we're just gonna zip up here. You know what, that almost, almost makes me think of the old Windows background. But okay, let's come up here. Uh, let's have a little look-see as to how well things actually turned out. And it's, and it's not too, too bad. That is... That is on our property line. And we could go a little closer, but we don't need to be cheeky and we don't need to totally risk it. But we will come down here. And we will zip right through to here. See what happens. Boop. We can't go any further. That's fine. I'm going to back up and we are going to come in here and remove said tree. Oop. And can I still get rid of you? Yes, gone. Perfect. Oop. Whoa. You can tell it's been a minute, just jumping around, jumping for joy. Happy to be back. Okay, we're just going to move you. Now, the dec decision we have to make, leaving these trees here, uh, I think I'm going to run a path through here. And when we buy this piece of property, we might expand this field out for more grass, maybe down a little here more. But I think for now, with the exception of kind of just oops, squaring this off. Well, ish, because it's not totally straight line, but. There we go. I think we're good. Actually, you know what? We're, we are going to come down here. And let's. Come in just a tad more, because we are going to have, you know, a mower on. So that's good. Well, okay. So we don't have anything uh, to harvest today. But we do need to take care of one other important thing. And it's going to require us to spend some money. Uh, I was about to say I'll put this away later, but let's put this away now. As you know me, I always put my stuff away. Uh, please, no fact checks. Uh, no community notes, please. We're good. We are good. So what I want to do is find my other tractor. There we go. Oh, are you on? You off? There you go. You're off. So speaking of off, let's head off to the store. So we have $67,000 in the bank and we're about to have far less. Now I'm going to check the sales. As you can see, oh, this Valtra would be oh so nice to get. Look, look at that uh, horsepower range. Half off. I doubt that's going to be there when we have money. Now remember, no loans. But also, we have other things to spend money on. So what we're going to do is come into here and fertilizer spreaders. And we're going to grab this fella here so we can apply some lime. $45,000. Now, we can spend another $8,000 to make that go from 12 meters, 18 meters. I think for now, we're probably good. Now, if we were playing with crop destruction on, you'd want to invest in the narrow tires. We have it off. We'll just go with standard tires. And uh, let's go with BKTs. I like those. Uh, and we don't need the extension for any additional space. 
Although it would be nice to go big or go home. But I think for now, that's the configuration we're going to go. Now, we could lease it. You know, almost forgot we can lease things. But I think this is going to be a good investment for us because we're going to have to use this a lot. And we have the money at the moment. So now I just need to come into, where are you? Uh, here you go. Big bags. Need just some lime. Not sure how many we're going to need. So let's buy four bags of lime and see how, how that does for us. Wow, she's a big. So we still have money in the bank, which is good. But I think when we get our crops harvested again, we're probably going to have to sell those pretty darn quickly. No, no. Whoop. Okay, somebody remember I threw some uh, fertilizer, it looks like. Alrighty. We got ourselves in a bit of a pickle. There we go. Lime. Lime, please. Thank you. Although, it's, I wonder if there's a lime. Maybe I could have bought it from that spout. I'm, I'm actually not sure. As opposed to the bags. But we've put our money in for the bags. Uh, that's That's good enough for now. In fact, we probably will have more than enough here. So four bags gets us 85. Oh, keeps going. 80, 88. Could have done the math. Didn't do the math. Game did the math for us. So we have automatic application rate on. Oops, uh, let's think we're good. So let's uh get back to the farm, but while we're driving it back. Oop, I said while we're driving it back. We're gonna look at our screen here. Uh sorry, precision farming. Yeah, you can see how bad this this field is here. Uh we might need a little on the front field. But I think we're going to forego the front field. Not like that. We're back on our farm. So we'll leave that field. Uh, we will come over here. Wow. And you just see things just get very, very angry right now. Oh, no, no. There we go. Oh, you know what? Maybe the... Uh... Oh, I was thinking this would have as good a spread as uh or not as good but decent compared to the fertilizer uh that we normally get the fertilizer spreader oh yeah this this is not uh this is not very far so i do think one of our early upgrades <laughs> will be actually to this now uh you know maybe i also should have looked at Maybe there's something I should have uh, leased instead. But uh, too late. We are in it here. But what I like is if you look at our little mini map, everything becoming green. Very, very happy. The pH is a balancing. That is good news. Now I will say, one of the things I really, really, really wish uh, would be changed in the game is I would love that mini-map functionality that we see with uh, precision farming here. Just, you know, doing normal, normal uh, work with that precision farming. It's not like this is course play or something of the fact where it's getting the perfect uh, up and down and distance but even just knowing where I've thrown the fertilizer would be a big big help uh, when we're not using precision farming so 
But, you know, it is what it is what it is. So that's fine. And this field is going to be mighty fine. Okay, well, um, boo. We are now out of line. But we have more field to do. Maybe we should have got the bigger tank or at least uh, filled things up. That's, that's, that's on me. That's my bad. Quick trip to the store and we found out, I think, two things. One, yes, the big magical pipe, uh, spits out lime at a great rate, but also at a much greater price. So not a better price, just a greater price. So uh, it looks like getting the bags, uh, especially one poor, much, much better call. So I think we'll be doing that at least for the near future. But I wanted to try it out. Uh, so I did get the choose of, I guess, lime, and I assume fertilizer, given this can also take fertilizer. But lime was the first choice, so I did not toggle further. So happy, happy days. Ooh, ooh, oh, oh, oh. Mistakes were made. This is not very forgiving. Yeah, so much for my neatness. I'm never neat, but it's okay. It's, it's fine, so... Nothing to worry about. Now the question is, and I, and I think I know the answer to what I'm about to propose, is for the lime, I will at least partially do the field. I tend to do all of it. You know, when I look at the pH balance, it is really bad in this area, so I think we're gonna get a much better crop for sure, even though we didn't apply herbicide to the grass field, or at least parts of the grass field. But looking, looking good. Now, the other thing, uh, for those that uh, have followed my Elm Creek series, when I started, I decided, you know what, I'm not going to bother with the lime. That seemed like an extra step. And now we're in for a penny and for a pound with uh, this because of precision farming. So now I think what we're going to do is we will do a little bit of a Yui. We'll come back and do the rest of the grass field. just in case oh, wow look how much we're gone through do i have yeah we're on auto application rate so just maybe because of how much we need to adjust the ph for the first time i'm not sure but we already went through more than half of this load so, wowzers. Wow. Zers. So we will do. Let's come along here. Get rid of this orange. I am not a fan of all that orange there. I don't think that's going to be good for us. There we go. Got most of it. So I think today has been fairly productive. We're going to need to start making some money again because I do want to expand the farm. But I think what we're going to do is we're going to be jumping up to where we can do uh, do some harvesting. Obviously, this grass field needs to be cut. And then on top of it, what we can do Uh, is mow the grass. Oh, 
Okay, at least it's not applying it where it doesn't need it. See, watch. That'll turn off. Okay, that is good news. So it's smarter than your average limer. See, it'll kick on here. No, won't even there. Because it's detected that is good enough. Even though it's not showing covered. Look at the mini map. I mean, covered by the, the lime visually versus the mini map. Now this will kick on. Good. Okay. I, I can live with that. So very productive. We got our fields uh, herbicide applied. We expanded our field for grass, which we'll apply next time. And we've got our pH uh, balanced. So uh, with that, I'd like to thank you all for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.